Hello, all of you vain, gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Planet Coaster Part 64. I think that might be the last time I say the part number, because this is, this is just going to be an ongoing series on my channel. We'll just keep doing different parks and different things, and just play Planet Coaster, because it's an amazing, amazing game. Today, well, first of all, I want to look at a couple things I've done. You probably just saw one of them there. I put fireworks on the building here so that it's set uh, with triggers. So fireworks set that are red, some fireworks set that are blue. So whichever side wins, their fireworks go off first. It is resulting in people saying, I wish the fireworks show was a little bit longer, but whatever. Um, I also, I know you saw a big tower, we'll get to it. Um, I redid the queues on both these a little bit so we can have priority passes. I'm gonna really try to make priority passes a thing in this park. Um, so I had to re jigger things in here a little bit. I had to build this little platform to make it all look okay. Um, and I think it does look okay. Uh, I got the floor pieces so people's feet aren't clipping too badly through the floor. Uh, and some people do use the priority pass. Um, let me get in here and see if I can click on the ride and not the building. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I know it tells me how long the party pass waiting time is somewhere right down here. Yeah, two minutes for those. It doesn't tell me how many people have used it, though, which is unfortunate. But people do use it occasionally, so we are getting that done, which is kind of nice. Um, I also, because the park is now open, there's no reason for sh true shops to be out here anymore. Um, I think I still have a couple. And they'll eventually go away. I have two. And I replaced one of them with the information booth. I think I even need to take that out. I like this thing. And I'll probably just leave it in as a piece of scenery. But I'll probably eventually take all the shops out. And just leave maybe the bathroom there or something. Because they they just have to travel a really long way out of the park. And they only spend a limited amount of time in the park anyway. And I just this isn't the best place to have shops. It's just not. Um, I know some people are visiting the shops. Uh, on their way out of the park, but not many. Uh, see that these guys just don't know what they want, and so I'm not getting the basis. I've got some people that are going all the way to the entrance, coming here, buying stuff, and then because they've been in the park, their limit, then they leave. So they're not going in and riding any rides. I mean, they paid their admission and everything, but you know, I want them to ride rides too. But speaking of rides, we're gonna go back and look at that big tower that you saw because it is a huge freaking tower. Um, I'm going to show it to you at night because it does something kind of cool. I turn around so you don't see it until I'm ready for you to see it. Um, okay, that should be good. There we go. Um, you can kind of already see there's red lights on this side. And on this side, there are blue lights. And they're all on, whereas the red side is not. It's because this is a work in progress, and this is going to take a while to get it timed out just right uh, so that it all works exactly how I want. But I'm going to speed things up here a little bit. There goes the fireworks. Aren't those cool? Uh, I'm going to speed things up just a little bit So, because you're going to see as the coaster starts out of the station, the first light comes on. And then as it's even with the second light, second, and so on and so forth. And what I want to do is get them to where they all come on and stay on. And then all go off in uh, the reverse order. So ding, 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 going off as they reach the bottom here. And that's the timing part that's going to take forever to work out. Like you can see I've been playing around with the bottom two. So I just don't like how it just climbs right now. And that's it. Mainly because they go off way too soon. But they, the lights are triggered. And I've got these close to where they need to turn off, but not quite there. So that's something that I want to get sorted out. But that's things that I'll do, as they say, off camera. Uh, because that's just going to take... I mean, it took me... That building took forever to build. But uh, the lighting and all that, just getting the, the triggers and everything set for it took a long time. And then I've got to repeat that on the other coaster and get them in sync. So yeah, wish me luck. Uh, but we'll watch the fireworks go off here now that it's nighttime. Looks like blue might win it. Let's see. Nope. Yep. We won it. So we get red and blue fireworks that go off. Which, you know, just a, a quick little show. Nothing elaborate. Just enough for them to 
have seen fireworks. What I want to do today, though, is this area... I'm keeping the Ferris wheel, don't get me wrong, but it needs it needs something. It just needs some work. So we're going to close it down. Um, actually, I'm going to close it completely, and then I'm going to get rid of the paths to it. All those people can just fuck off. What, where are they going to go if there's no path? They're all just going to stand there. These people can fuck off. They all fucked off. Okay, there they all fucked off properly. I'm going to move this thing out of the way here. Whoops, didn't mean to build a path. I'm going to delete that one too. There we go. And I'm going to move this out of the way just a little bit here. Um, because, well, actually, I want to select it with this so that I can go X. I want to change the angle of it a bit. And then I want to move it back. I'm probably over some too. So what I want to do is make a nice entryway for it and have the queue go through a small little village. I know, sounds nice, huh? Uh, for now, this sign can go away too. It's wanting to click the chair plane, but not the sign. No, I want to click the sign, please. There we go. We'll just get him out of the way for now, back there. So my exit will probably come out and just through a small little village, maybe just one or two of the buildings and go here, and then my entrance I do want to keep the priority queue, so I'm going to have it start here. Priority queue will snake around and rejoin right there. Maybe it'll wind through a couple buildings. And then the regular queue will come out over here and go around a couple buildings. So, I think what I need to do is build the buildings first. I really do. These are not going to be elaborate at all. Um, they're going to be similar to... Like, probably even, yeah, way smaller than this. Way smaller than that. That's too big for what I'm going for. But I do want a nice medieval looking thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. When did I download that? That's pretty. I don't think I did download it. I think that came with uh, one of the DLCs. That's beautiful. Uh, anyways. Uh, getting distracted. Getting distracted. Uh, back to blueprints. I just want to see if I have a building to serve as a model for me. And then I'll go from there. I mean... I do something like that, but even that might be a little too big for what I'm going for, honestly. But I do like the idea of the archway, and I may incorporate that somewhere. Um, that's supposed to be down in the ground. I may incorporate this idea a little bit, maybe off to the side here, um, or maybe even turned, so that uh, you go through an arch and then pass through like a little courtyard and then out to another building or something. But again, it's a little too big for what I want to go for. I'm trying to see if I have anything else medieval here. Something like this is more the size I'm thinking. Just but instead of being three wide, it would just be one wide. Maybe two in some cases, but probably not. Um, it keeps taking me out of blueprints when I hit escape. I think I just right click to get rid of them. Anything else medievalish? I thought I had more downloaded than that. I guess not. So, you know what? I'm just going to figure it out. <laughs> just make it up as I go along. So, I know... Let's get the cues kind of in place, and then I can move them. Um, I think that would be my best bet here. We're using this guy? Yeah. For the exit. So, I wanted to just... No, that's... Is that my exit? That's my exit. I wanted to come straight down now and then back and then up and around. Then we'll do some buildings right around the edge of it here. Um, just like that should work. Um, yeah, that'll work. And then I want to move my entrance on this ride. Can I have the ride? Thank you. Uh, place the entrance right right next to it. Um, no, that's a little to the side, so I need room for that priority key to come through. Uh, we're going to connect the entrance to a path, and again, I, for this, though, I need this to stay in the... No, I don't need it to stay in the air. I can have it come on down, because then it can join right there. And then it's going to come over this way. I'm going to leave just enough room for it to have a little building or two that it's going to have here. And it's still really close up to this path, though. 
So maybe like that. And then uh, for operations, I want to enable the priority paths. And I want to have my entrance come off just as soon as I can, which is up there. That's disappointing. And then my exit for it will be right there. Let's see what I can do with this here. There, I can still fit a building back there. Just a really small one. Get this to come through here. And then connect. I can fit a small little building there, a couple over here, and a couple along here. And just give this the look of a small village. And I don't want them to be too tall. Because I don't want them to block the the ride completely. But I do just want to give it that this area is its own little section. I just think that'd be nice. I, I don't know. I'm comic crazy. So, let's uh, start with the a building that is going to have that archway in it. So I do like that idea. Um, walls and arches. It's a very loud vehicle just went by my house. I might have to do... Let's see if I can get away with one of these somewhere. I'll change the color because I don't want it to be the same color. Actually, yeah, I do have one that's lime plaster that would probably look a little better. I also have a stucco, but I don't like the, the arch on that. Ooh, I kind of like that, but mm, no. Let's go with this guy then and bring it down and see where I can make this happen. Uh, not there. Can I get it to work? No, see, it's just so big. You know, when you have a big one, it can be a problem sometimes. Um, maybe then we'll do this idea of going through a courtyard on the exit. Because here, though, I don't think I can attach a small building over here, though. I don't think that would work. I need to get in the way of the queue. So let's do it on the exit then. Uh, right about here. We'll have this be the building that it's going to pass through. Yeah, is it on the ground? Where's my grid? I want the grid to be right, right at ground level. There we go. All right, so that's going to be one building right there. And we're going to come back to that in a minute. For now, I just want to build a couple little things in here out of, uh... I don't know if I want to use stucco or what. Let's go look. What, uh, scenery themes? Nothing fairy tale. Hmm. Uh, building set. Rustic. It's kind of what I'm going for. Castle. Maybe. But I think the stucco painting the lighter color is going to be what I really want. Okay, so I have all that here, so... Don't I? Castle walls. Lime plaster walls. Rough brick walls. And then some pieces of stucco, but not the others. Was it that peculiar? <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been recording videos all bloody day long, and my voice is gone. All right, well, fine. We'll just get completely out of that. Let's start with a nice little stucco house. Just tucked in right here. Um, ooh, God. That is going to be hard to do, but here we go. And we'll have, like, just a little house, little door, and a little roof. And I can redo the cues a little bit. I said a little a lot there, didn't I? A little a lot. There you go, Brandon. So we'll do this right here like that. Um, and then... I want, like... This is where I wish I had a half that you could put them in the middle. So I'd really like to have it have, like, a little uh, walled section right there as well. But I don't think I can get that, so whatever. Uh, I want to go look at roofs now. Uh, we don't want that, but I do want pitched. And I want these fairy tale. Ooh, here's what I could do on the side. Just have this canopy over a door. 
And that'll give it the feeling that it's more than one story tall, even though it's not. Um, so I want... That's too small. Oh, that's too big. That's just too tall, isn't it? It just kind of... Where is it? I don't know. Does it block too much? That might work if I can raise it up. And then put these end pieces on. What's the overhang do? Thought I had roof decorations for trim. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. maybe not. I could have swore there was a, a piece that did that. And that won't work because it's well, you know, wrong. Oh, so this might work. It's a small little thatch like this. No, it doesn't meet up in the middle. Boo! But 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 but. Now, if I bring this down, can I make this match up? No, not really. Um, can I make... No, oh, that's that big one again. I don't want the big one, Brandon. What if I do something like this? Ooh. This could work. Um, maybe. Still not quite what I'm going for. I'll undo all that. Let's go into roof trims and see if there's any thatch roof trims here. And, oh, there are eaves, they're, but they're kind of the wrong direction. That's too big. <laughs> that just goes all the way to the ground now. Okay, so let's go back in here. And go back to this guy. Is that not just the same piece I just had? Try to make this one work. Go back in here, get my trim pieces. And that's just not what I want. So it's this piece that I want. We're gonna have to move it around. So I want it about there. But that's not gonna line up with my roof in any way, shape, or form. Uh, move you up just a tad. <laughs> I'm running into problems here. Alright, so now move you. Uh, let's use relative axis. You are using relative axis. Why, why is that what you're using? Um, so down, over, make these two connect like that. Maybe a little bit higher and a little bit more in. Is it at a weird angle? I think it is at a weird angle. Yeah, it's at a weird angle. Hmm. Though I like that it's at a weird angle, but it's also at a weird angle like this. So let's uh, kill you for now. Reset your rotation. Back to whatever your stock rotation is. And then move you and align you to surface right here and then move you up see if that doesn't work a little better might so they don't quite meet up exact but I don't think they have to for a thatch roof do they I really don't think they do I do want them to meet up on the outer edge here let's see if I can't make something of this and if I can't well then we'll move on to something else so I want a couple of you then to fill this up. And let's go two more. So we've got good overlap here. Like that. And then let's move or advance move and copy or whatever it's called. Control X. Whatever it is. Uh, spin it around. I want to angle snap it. Spin it around and it should just be in place. It is. Look at that shit. I don't know. Is that okay for a roof? I think that's okay for a roof. Once I find little walls to cover it up there, I think we'll be okay. If there's a wall that can fill this gap properly. And that, my, fr <clears throat> my friends, might be a problem. 
It's back to stucco. I can move this wall further in. That'll help some. Is this wall back here all the way in? Yeah, that wall is already all the way in. Okay. Then once I build this building, I can move it uh, to actually be in a better place. So, stucco, just walls for now, please. Uh, is there anything that fills that gap in? I think it's close. That gets closer, but then it's too tall. But what if I bring it down like this and then use one of these right on top of it? Where'd it go? To fill in this bit. Where are you trying to build? You're there. Can I use this to fill in this bit without it soaking through there? Yeah, that should be okay. And I can maybe bring some wood lattice type stuff in to fill in this area. Just like, kind of recreate that with some beams. That might work. I kind of dig that. So let's uh, duplicate you. Bring you back here. I'm going to get you in roughly the same spot. Doesn't have to be exact. Because this is just a decorative building. Not here for any other reason. Well, that filled up that gap nicely back there. I wonder why it didn't up front whatever and now I think I want to change the cover though just a little bit and everything should all be the same cover but it's not because I've got this root piece in so I'm going to keep this cover on this one I don't want to go through the trouble of recovering it so we're going to have a main front door um don't want stucco anymore I would however like to go in here now and go look at my fairy tale stuff and let's put a really cute front door on this house. Come here. Stay right there, please. No, stay right there. Right like that, and then down a little. Just have that step a little sunk into the ground. There we go. And then a simpler door on this side. Just like a basic wooden door of some sort here. Which door plane is nice, but it's a little hall for our purposes so what we can do is we do that does that look all right it's sitting under there yeah i think it looks fine sitting under there and then we want some windows oh that's huge maybe just eight no, let's do two windows and we'll recover them here where are you trying to go you're trying to go there i want you to go about and then we'll control X so it's on the same plane. Just kind of eyeball it so it's roughly the same here. And then I want to recover them to be the same colors as this. Um, so I want the main frame part, which is that darker color, to be that. For the white, good. Or for the blue, I mean. Um, and then... Where are all these covers? Let's zoom in here. And up. And back down a little bit. Where's the gray? Let's see here. What are you changing? You're the panels. So let's let's create them really obvious colors here. So that I know... What are you changing? You see anything changing? I sure don't. Something on the back of them here? Like on the back side of this? Uh, make it white. Make it black. Make it, and I don't see anything changing with that. They are sticking out awful far. Let's uh, see if I can't move them back in a little bit. Uh, very little bit. There we go. Now they're not sticking out so bad. Uh, back to say done. No, I didn't say done on the building. God damn it. Uh, windows. Oh, are you not part of the building now? Okay, there's a way to fix this that I've learned. You select the objects and then the building and then add standalone scenery to selected building. Da da! Now they're part of the building. Um, so go back in and edit. There we go. Now they're part of the building. So let's put that gray on the shutters. Um, is that this color? No. 
Oh, yeah, the door is not recoverable, seriously. Um, maybe I should do the teal. No, I don't want to do the teal. I want the gray. Is it this color? And it's just looking gray for some reason. Let's see what this looks like on the shutters. Uh, which are currently green. So put that on there. Yeah, I definitely want it to be out gray to match that door. So let's just pick a gray here. That gets close. Close enough. And then it's got the faded paint on there. And what is pink on here? Again, I see nothing changing. So we'll just reset it to its stock one. And we'll reset this one to its stock one. I don't see anything changing. And if nothing's changing, I'm not going to bother with it. And then I want two of these windows on the back. So, X. And come back here. And spin you around. And pull them out. And then I don't care if they're not perfectly aligned. doesn't really matter. Just want them right about there. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the footage while I build a cute little uh, stucco and wood and maybe some rough brick uh, village buildings. So uh, enjoy the Planet Coaster music.
And, well, there we go. We've got the basics done. I could probably use maybe one more building right back here. But I kind of lost my mojo in the middle of this one. I don't like the way the roof turned out. I like the building itself. I wanted one central building to have some height here. And it also gets me some shops that I needed. Uh, though it is creating quite a traffic jam down there. Mainly because these shops over here don't get a lot of attention because there's nothing over here yet. That will change eventually. But I am much happier now with this little village. Uh, it gives you something to look at. We'll do some planting and some things to separate them all out. Um, but I think it's beautiful. I love the way the lights play off everything. Speaking of lights, I wanted to see if there was a light that would really work um, on the cue path. And I don't, I don't think I want these torches. Though it is an old-timey village, so maybe the torches are the best thing, honestly. It's a very flammable neighborhood with all these thatched roofs. Uh, you, know, you know, watch yourselves. Um, one there, and then one right here to light up both of these. Like that. And then probably one over here for these guys. Just enough to make sure there is light everywhere. So, like, back here, it's really dark. There we go. So, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about lighting in this whole park, honestly. I may create some custom lights. I, I haven't really made up my mind yet. Wanted to get an ATM to fit around the side, but it didn't really work out, so whatever. But I think it's a nice little village. I like how the big wheel sign is up on top of the barn and it's all lit. I like how the trees have a little bit of light shining on them at night. Just enough to give them some color. And it creates a nice backdrop to separate it from the roller coaster. So that you don't see the coaster there. So, um, yeah. I'm fairly pleased with this. Love to know what you guys think about it. And uh, leave some suggestions on how I might can change this roof around. I may have already done it by next video, but I'd still love to hear from you. And I'll probably build one or two smaller buildings over here. Uh, just to fill in that space, or maybe I'll just tree it in. I don't know yet. Um, but it's a cute little village. Look for this stupid iron chimney forever. And finally found it. But you can't fit smoke inside that one because it's a little too narrow. So, anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. So, until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.